Hello, and welcome to this demo of automated testing with Selenium, including Sauce Labs, the Selenium testing cloud. In it, we'll demo a simple Node.js app written in the Express framework, look at some Selenium tests written in the Vows.js framework, and show how Sauce can be easily integrated to give your tests more power. OK, let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the project we're dealing with. What we have here is a basic Express.js app in this case, a blog application. Express is a lightweight web framework for Node. One of its demo applications is the blog app we'll be using in this video. Let's take a look at some of the app code. Here's the app configuration. Here's our main controller. And here's the post model, with logic for dealing with the blog posts. So let's go ahead and fire up the app on port 3000. Looks like it's working. Let's see what it does. It's a pretty simple app. Pretty much all you can do is write posts. But as simple as this app is, it still needs some tests. What if we want to add a new feature? We need to be sure the current functionality doesn't inadvertently break. To write tests for this node-based app, I've chosen to use the Vows.js framework. Vows is a nice framework for Node that lets you set conditions and check whether things are as you expect. Let's look at some of our test code. I've put all the tests into one hash called all tests. At the top are some helper functions, which are used by lots of tests. For example, we've got a setup function, which navigates to a URL, or a post writing function, which fills out form fields and submits the posts. The tests themselves live in one place together. Each test consists of a name describing the expected behavior and some vows.js code which sets up the test conditions. For example, here we have a test that checks whether a new post's title is visible on the home page after it is added. You may have noticed in these test functions there's a lot of reference to something called driver. That's because we want to use Selenium to test our website in a real browser, the way a real person would. The JavaScript library we use to talk to Selenium is called WD, available in the Node Package Manager. So in this test, for example, we use driver.get to tell Selenium to point the browser at the home page's URL, and then refresh the page so we can check whether the new post's title is present. OK, so how do we actually run the tests? Here I've set up a configuration framework that lets us tell the Vows test runner which browsers we want to test and how many we want to run in parallel. We give this config a name, set the number of parallel tests, and also set the Selenium-specific browser description. So let's run some tests. First, we need to start the Selenium server, which talks to the browser. Now we use vows to run the tests using the local configuration we just looked at. The browsers themselves are launching behind this window, but we can now see the Selenium server active and the Express app responding to requests. Some tests started passing. Great. Let's skip ahead a little bit. OK, all 15 of our tests completed in 52 seconds using one real browser. But of course, we're only testing one browser. Does everything work as expected in Firefox 2? We can add Firefox support easily by updating our local test configuration. Let's also increase the number of processes so we don't have to wait too long for everything to finish. Let's run the local tests again. This time, notice the white window which flashes up. This is Firefox taking focus and blocking us from doing whatever work we want while the test runs. Let's skip ahead to the end of the test run. OK, this time 30 tests finished in 170 seconds. Already we have a bit of slowdown from running more tests in parallel on my machine. So it's not bad, but Firefox was kind of annoying, and we're still only testing two browsers and only one OS. This is where Sauce Labs comes in. Sauce runs a cloud of virtual machines which act as Selenium servers. So your tests can talk directly to Internet Explorer 8 on Windows XP, for example, 
without you having to set up anything yourself. However, there's one issue with our demo app. It only runs on localhost. How can Sauce's cloud test something which only runs on my laptop? The solution is Sauce Connect, Sauce's secure tunneling software that lets the Sauce cloud talk to your local internet. We'll see how this works shortly. First, let's look at how to add Sauce integration to our test configuration. It's basically as simple as specifying a different host and port for Selenium and adding our authentication information. Then we can pick whatever browser and OS combos we want from the Sauce cloud, in this case IE, Firefox, and Chrome on Windows. Finally, we can take advantage of the cloud and run many more tests in parallel. Let's choose 23. To get Sauce working, we also have to start Sauce Connect on our machine. It takes a minute to boot up since a fresh virtual machine is provisioned to handle the secure connection. OK, now we're ready to go. Let's run the tests using our Sauce config. While the tests are running, we can go to the Jobs page on Sauce's website to see what's happening. Here we can see that several virtual machines have been launched and are running tests. More are being queued up to the 23 we requested. We can choose any test and Sauce will show us live video of the running test. Here's our test, creating a new post. After the test is finished, Sauce gives you a video of the entire test, along with a record of the Selenium commands that were sent and what their result was. You also get screenshots at various points to help you debug. Back at the jobs page, we can see a lot more tests running and queued up. And indeed, our first set of 23 tests has passed and another is underway. Let's skip ahead to the end of the run. Great, 45 tests passed in 156 seconds on three browsers I can't even run on my laptop. That's the power of the cloud. And this is the end of the demo of automated testing with Selenium and Sauce On Demand. All the code for this demo is on GitHub at jlips slash sauce node demo. Thanks for watching and happy testing.